Hey everybody, a Retro Geek Dad here, back with another toy review. This time I'm looking at something pretty cool. This is the Mondo Collectibles Tila 1-6 scale timed edition figure. I uh, got this in the other day, so I'm pretty excited about this one. Um, it's the first, or my first female figure for the Mondo Collectibles. I know previously we had She-Ra, which um, I decided to pass on, but I did get Tila, so we're going to um, you know, open her up. I have not... I haven't even opened the shipper, so this is the shipper that it comes in. Um, on the other side is my address and everything, but we're going to open it up, you know, check out the package and everything, you know, look at the window figure, um, open up, open it up, look at all the weapons and accessories. So I'm pretty excited about this one, so stay tuned, and we're going to get into it. Okay, so right off the bat, the box is pretty big. Um, I'm not able to get the whole thing in my shot right now, but I'm going to give a measurement. So the box that it comes in is about 16 inches tall and about 11 and a quarter inches long and the depth is about seven inches deep. So pretty decent sized box. Um, we're gonna go ahead and open it up. Got the packaging up here. have a little cardboard insert and we don't have the little plastic dividers but we do have the cardboard pieces it is wrapped in plastic so there is our Tila Pretty cool picture. Really cool picture. It does have plastic on it protecting it, so I'll go ahead and take that off real quick so we can get a better look. Okay, so here is our Tila figure. Mondo exclusive. Mondo logo there. Really cool illustration. A really cool illustration. I'll turn the box around. So it is pretty thick. Um, I don't know if it's thicker than some of the other Mondo figures, the packaging for that. But uh, we do have kind of the red. Uh, looks like Castle Grayskull, but it's in the red. Um, one six scale collectible figure, Tila. And on the back we have a little bio. And these are the people who worked on the you know, design, the sculpt, paint, packaging art, uh, photography, art direction. So here are the people who had their hand in that. I'm gonna zoom in so we can see them. So really cool. So it includes one figure, accessories. Um, same on this side. On the top we just have a master's logo. And then on the bottom here, we have our UPC code, all the legal stuff. So I'm noticing that this one doesn't have the wraparound magnetic um, like some of the others do. I think it's just, yeah, it's just Velcro here. We'll just open that up. So we do have a photo of the figure here posed. That's pretty cool. And then over here we do have the actual figure. Let's see if I can get a better shot. So we do have our figure. We have an extra head, shield, some hands, um, a couple weapons and accessories. So yeah, it's a pretty cool figure. Um, I think we have like a fur, like a collar, um, like right here on this. So this piece right here is fur. So yeah, so pretty excited about this one. Go ahead and get it open. So it just has one piece of tape here. Cut that. Try to get everything in the photo or in the camera shot. Okay, slide that. So nothing extra in there. 
and it's just that new plastic smell. I don't know if you've ever opened one of these Mondo figures, but just that, that plastic smell is just fantastic. Okay. Let me raise the camera up so we can get more of an aerial shot, so just stay tuned. Okay, so hopefully everything's showing up in the shot. Um, of course, you can see my light lights right here. So we'll go ahead and we're going to take this top piece off. Um, or we'll see, we'll go ahead and do the bottom. So we got some tape here. Like that. So we're going to set the top one to the side for a second. So we can look at the bottom. Here on the bottom we have our stand. This is our Mondo stand. It's a little different than the regular Mondo stand. Uh, we don't have the Mondo symbol or anything, kind of a basic one. This is the piece that sticks up. Of course, the figure's waist goes around that. And that just kind of plugs in there. So we'll set that there. We do have the snake staff. That's pretty cool. We do have the snake armor. Very detailed. Pretty cool. And then we do have, so this is the 2000X uh, Tila with a ponytail. Really good sculpt. Very detailed. Little bangs there. Eyes look good. So we have our 2000X head. So I'm going to set this to the side. Okay, and then the top piece here. tape on it. Got to cut the tape first. So, okay. All right. So, I'll just leave that there for a second. So, we do have our sword. It does have the uh, belt buckle and stuff. There's our sword there. So it does go around the waist. Set that there. We do have a, not really a halber, I guess a spear would be the best term. That's pretty long. Set it next to the snake staff there. We do get couple of extra hands, not a bunch. Let's take a look at those real quick. So we do have some open hands. Set those to the side. We do have some fists. Okay. Some fists there. Okay. We have our shield. This is pretty cool. There's some uh, padding. I'm not sure if you can see the padding, but behind like the knuckles where they would hold. So that's pretty cool. A little detail right there. Prevent the knuckles from getting banged up on the back of the shield. And then we have this head here. Okay, so this is like the angry face. Angry face. Really good details. I don't see any problems with the paint apps. All right. And then we have our Tila figure. Move it 
all of this out of the way. Okay, so here's our Tila figure. Of course, she is wrapped in plastic, and we do have plastic on where the fur is. Take that off. And we do have fur on the top of the boots. Slide those off. Okay. And we do have another piece of plastic that's wrapped around the waist. Let's see if we can get that off. So I'm going to cut it. Very careful. There we go. Okay. So here is our Tila figure. Pretty cool. Sculpted very well. <laughs> Sculpted very well. Um, knees look good. Joints look good. Paint app looks good. Fur needs a little fluff in just where it's been sitting. But I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of wanting to come out. So you got to be careful with that. Just a little fur. Um, articulation. Let's look at articulation. So the head is on a ball joint. Really good movement there, because um, there's no nothing binding it or anything like that. Arms, they are a little stiff, but they do click. So we do have up and down on that. We do not, we have no rotation here. Elbows are single jointed. Wrist is on a rocker. Wide range of movement on those. Okay. We do have rotation here at the bottom of the chest. Somewhat. Uh, nothing. No, we do have rotation in the waist. Legs. They're on a ball joint too. So pretty good movement there. Knees are... They appear to be double jointed. They are double jointed. So the knees are double jointed top of the boots there is rotation ankles rotate rocker so pretty good there so pretty good articulation I'm surprised um, I would have maybe liked to seen uh, double jointed elbows it's just since we've got double jointed knees but it's all right um, paint looks really good I don't see any problems with the paint um, looks really good. You can see the lace on the back of the corset. Pretty good. Um, yeah, just that fur is just wanting to kind of come off. But it's more of a display piece than an actual play piece. So um, this piece here is attached to the top. So that's not connected. Um, I'm curious about the belt though, because I don't know. See, the belt doesn't open, and it goes, it would go like that. And I don't think anything comes apart, so you would have to slide it on, right? Yeah, the belt doesn't open and I don't think you know it wouldn't come apart here so you'll have to slide it up I guess just do it the old-fashioned way let's see I don't want to mess up the fur too bad on the boots so it's kind of Kind of a stretchy material so it's got a little give to it um see i don't know if it's got enough give to get past the thighs 
Maybe it does. Just kind of finagle it up. I don't know, maybe there's a, a different way to do this. Let me know in the comments if you've come across this issue. Okay, there we go. So, kind of put it on there like that. Now watch it wind up being something that goes around like the waist or the chest piece. Knowing my luck, I put it on wrong. So, there is the sword. Now, as far as like the snake armor goes, I think it just slides on. Tilt her head some. Okay, so it slips under the chin. Makes it a little easier going underneath the chin. There's that. And I keep bumping the camera. So that's that. And let's put the shield in her hand. So the hands that she has they're open hands but the hands the fingers are real stiff so it might be easier to kind of warm them up um if you're gonna you know change out the weapons and stuff but let's try to fit the sword or the shield i'm sorry in her hand try at least the hand back on just like that so there is the little shield of course you could have her arm bent where she's holding the sword in the sheath you know kind of like that let's take this off Snake armor is a little difficult to get on. I feel like it's going to scratch up the face. Um, so there's that. So we'll take her sword out. Kind of pull her hand open. Put the sword in. There we go. So there's her with her sword. There's that. That's pretty cool. That looks really cool. And then let's put the sword back and let's get the snake staff. Do the same, kind of pull the arm hand open, slide it in. There is the that, and then we'll put the snake armor back on. So under the chin and then push back. So there is the snake armor and the snake staff. So that looks really cool. Okay, sorry about that little technical difficulty. But here is Artila with her snake staff, her snake armor, shield. We have her sword over here. So pretty cool. So let's try the different heads. So we'll pull this back off. Be kind of careful not to have any paint transfer. Okay. So we'll just pop this head off. Okay, and that's the head that came with it. Just kind of a general face. You know, nothing, no angry face or anything, but let's try the angry face. Let's see how that looks. So we'll just pop that on. Now I will say this, there is these little spikes on our headpiece. Those are kind of pointy, so just be careful with the changing out the head. So there's the angry face. Let's 
see if we can put this one in the snake armor. Yep. There's the snake armor. Okay. Pretty cool. Well, just take the whole thing off. And then we have the 2000X. Now, I don't think the snake armor is going to fit on that one. So we're not going to try that. But we'll go ahead and snap this one on. Wiggle it on there. There we go. So there is the 2000X Tila. snake staff out and we'll take the shield off and while we got the hand off we'll just put the open hand on okay we'll grab the spear so there is Tila with the spear pretty cool so yeah, um, pretty cool figure. Um, I am going to um, take some still photos after the video. So definitely stay tuned for those still photos because I'm going to show off the different hands and different poses and stuff like that. But uh, <clears throat> pretty cool, nice addition to the Mondo figures. Um, I'll probably go with the more classic Tila uh, as opposed to the 2000X. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like my content, uh, you know, subscribe, thumbs up on the videos, drop a comment. Um, you know, definitely check out my other Mondo figures. I've got, you know, a couple more that I've done reviews on in the past. So definitely check those out. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and we will catch you again next time. Thank you.